So, where is Nick at at the start of the season? At the start of the season. What's happening for him? Um, who was he? He's with the guy. Yeah, he was with the guy, but we did something. He was. Uh, so they went back to your old uh, the river. That's right, the river. That's, right. that's it. So yeah, it's back to back to square one. Yeah. So yeah, so they um, for the last shot of the season, you know, they were vacationing in Aruba. Constantine came in, dropped the dragon head, and he was like, "Yo, you guys." more emotional arts coming this uh, this season. You, we had some really good emotional stories with you last yeah. season. I mean, I, again, I'm repeating myself, I find, but we don't want to tamp too much with who Nick Rory is. The, the character is fleshed out. It's done. We know what he is. But there are aspects of his personality and his best of his being that we have not yet explored. And we're, we're touching we're touching on that now. So um, it'll be a, a it'll be it'll be a, an unfold, gradual unfold. We have to tune in. Yeah. <laughs> there are there are unseen and untapped depths to this character that we're really gonna yeah. dive into. We heard that Maisie's new character is gonna have a lot in common with Nick Rory. Can you talk about the possibility of that dynamic? First off, heard it. Yes. Yeah, yeah, no, they, they will. I mean, they're both, you know, Maisie, or her character Charlie, is uh, going to be one of these escape fugitives. So, yes, he's got hard time, he's got hard time, and they get each other. I mean, it's, it's a, a cool friendship that we're really looking forward to building, um, especially since he cared so much about Amaya, and he misses her a lot, and to have this person who looks like her on the ship is really going to be complicated for you, but I think in a cool way when you realize that you actually have a lot of possibilities. Exactly. Um, we've got some 1600s, we've got some 50s, we've got some 90s, we've got some 70s. We got a, can, can, we, can we do a future one? 2000 and 3000? 2019. <laughs> and we've got Zari's future. Yeah. Is that going to come back into play? Uh, yes, it will. Thematically, very thematically, yeah. in terms of you know the way that her people were prosecuted and the way that you know magical fugitives and the way they're being prosecuted. So it's it's actually it's a really fun gray area that we're going to be exploring. Is there more Bebo? I mean, I mean, Bebo, man. I mean, what are you guys? Will we Bebo's? find love this year? Yeah. <laughs> we we think Bebo so. Bebo two point oh. Our dear, uh, uh, you know, Mark Guggenheim always joked about Bebo. So yeah, right. Maybe that'll be a thing. Why not? Bebo. <laughs> <That's laughs> That would be a Funko exclusive next year. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, yeah. Just even with a bow, I mean. Right. <laughs> Let's be honest. She's probably, yeah. probably going to be into like anything. Yeah. 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 I think she's a sexual. I think Bebo's got a good Shibo or Hebo. I mean, I think Shimbo's, Shibo's, Shibo's. I hope we get to see this universe play out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I'm sure. I mean, it's started to cross over into the other shows. I and mean, I think the closest we're getting to a crossover this year is Bebo being on the other show. <laughs> since you guys aren't going to be a part of a crossover, will there be possibly a crossover with Black Lightning since he hasn't fully made it into the Arrowverse yet? Well, I think he's still separate. I do think that. that um, because, like, the universe of that show, if, if Arrow had existed in that show, I think it would have been a very different discussion of like, over what Black Lightning meant and, um, and how, you know, superheroes function in that world. Because obviously, it would all, like, flash would have been like, So I think they wanted to keep, keep it separate so that he really could exist as the superhero as opposed to one of many or baggage of all the other cities. I'm Team during the team. How's your relationship with him? Everyone's asking that question. <laughs> uh, they want to know. Yeah, no, it's um, it's, it's stir. 
No, I mean, Rory doesn't like Constantine at all. And there's real animosity, you know. I've seen a couple of the apps moving forward, and some of the scenes just laugh out loud, sterile. And I, I want to see that continue on. You know, I think I think that's going to be always a an ace of our sleep. Yeah, no, we love it. We if, we, love if, it. if we keep that thing just going and going and going. I mean, we, we love to write those kinds of things. Yeah, I again, we feel like that's true. Yeah, like, for sure. You're, you're very protective of your team. Like, yeah, you don't like sure. the idea of like this new energy coming in and like changing people. Right. Change. Nope. I mean, it's like, nope. that's a whole thing. This guy's coming into your head house and like, causing a disruption, and you're like, uh uh, what's going on? I'm like, no, one of them.